Now we want to estimate how much bandwidth our YouTube like website will use. So in an interview, we are estimating numbers for the system that we're designing, which is similar to YouTube. It's not YouTube itself. So we're not trying to estimate what YouTube's metrics will be. We're trying to estimate if we were to design a imaginary system like YouTube, how would we do it and what its metrics would be. Now again, capacity estimations are not the most important part of system design interviews. Uh, in fact, we recommend people to spend as less time as possible during the interview doing capacity estimation because it really distracts you from the main point of the interview which is system design and in most cases these estimation numbers don't impact your high level system design that's scalable so we'll follow our three-step approach defining the metric that we're looking for first creating assumptions about our system and then calculating the actual metric now bandwidth is the amount of data that is transferred per second and what we'll do is in our system we'll calculate the data that's transferred while viewing YouTube videos. So let's start defining our assumptions now. So previously we estimated the read requests that our system will see will be 4,200 requests per second. So the entire estimation is in a different video uh, and the link is posted below. And as part of this, we had also estimated that each request will give you a 10 second chunk of the video. So we said our system will have adaptive streaming, which means video is served in chunks and the browser will request for the video in chunks. So for this, really we know how many requests are there per second all we need to do is figure out how much data is transferred per request so we know that 10 seconds of videos uh, is, is transferred per request and so we can estimate the size of data that this 10 second video requires uh, i'm going to assume one megabyte and this might be very different from reality but we're going to make assumptions here okay so given these two assumptions we can figure out how much data is transferred per second so given these two assumptions we can figure out how much data is transferred per second and it's pretty simple we've made our numbers pretty simple so it's just going to be 4200 megabytes per second that will be the amount of bandwidth required on average to serve these requests. Now we have to be really careful with these numbers that estimate capacity because we're really not sure what our system is yet, right? So our system might be utilizing CDNs, which means a lot of the bandwidth might be handled by CDNs. On the other hand, these assumptions that we made might be too high level. For example, if we store our video in three different formats, then this number really becomes, uh, it ha it'll have three different sizes for 10 seconds. And this is why a lot of times capacity estimation ends up being pretty useless in interviews uh, because only when you go deeper into the specifics of your system can you actually estimate the capacity. Okay, so we applied our three-step process again, uh, and you can repeatedly apply this process to different parts of the system to estimate metrics like these.